Hi guys and I'm back with a super quick layout and this is the last one I made for my blog post and I knew I just wanted to add a bit more um, journaling so um, I knew that I'm gonna have my pocket pages but I just wanted a page where the main focus was gonna be some journaling so what I've done is I've taken three photos and as you've seen me do in all my past kind of these videos um, I have just clustered them up I've cut them down um, that's the great thing about having your photos printed in 4x6 is that, you know, you can cut them down, um, you know, to make them, you know, usable. So I've got this background piece of paper, which I really love, but I hadn't got around to using. And I kind of saved it. And I thought, OK, I want to use it up. I don't want to not use it and then just sit in my stash. So um, I then went through my older bits of paper. And I believe this is a bit of um, crepe paper. Um, I'm not 100 sure which collection, but it's a really old piece and it came from a paper pad. Um, but I kept it because I knew it was a ledger. Um, and actually, because it's a blue, it worked perfectly. So what I'm just going to do is make a really big, like, photo block, really. So I'm just going to put my photo on the top and then have um, my my photo at the top and then a place for journaling at the bottom. And the great thing about using that ledger paper as it's going to be super simple to write on. So I'm just going to centre that in the middle of the page um, and get it where I'm happy and as I said there is really not much um, real estate to play with on here um, but I am going to get that beautiful whale sticker from the drift collection on. Um, I've been wanting to use it and wanting to use it and I was like shall I leave it and put it in a project life but I was like no I want to get it on a layout. So um, I've used like the dark blues. I mean, there is red in the whale watching sign. My hair is actually orange. Um, the front bit of it when I was on holiday was like orange and pink. So I thought, okay, this is going to work. <laughs> I can get this to work. So I'm just adding a little bit of mist over here. And I'm just using some gold and some teal. And this is just going to add a little bit of interest where. You know, there's not much to add any embellishment. It's just also going to draw the eye down um, from the photos down to the journaling. Um, and then putting that beautiful whale at the bottom there is just really going to yeah, work. So I wanted to bring a little bit up to the top. So I'm just going to put a little orange tab up here. Um, and I am going to end up just stamping the date on there, but I don't do it on the video. And then I want to keep the rest of the embellishments super simple because I know once my writing's on there it's going to be quite um, overbearing. So I'm going to put this piece again these are just using bits from the sticker sheet so I've just put this orange label so again I've got three points of orange going over the layout and then there's this lovely sort of wave design and I'm just going to put a little bit there at the bottom I did contemplate kind of moving some other bits around and getting bits how I wanted it but I was like no I was gonna go super simple on this <laughs> So I just end up cutting another little bit of that off and popping it um, at the top there and then deciding what am I doing here, what am I not doing, oh yes and I completely forgot I end up taking that orange label off and using one of the orange word strips, that's what I did um, and I'm just going to end up sticking that under that um, wave piece and again it's just going to make sure there's like different points of blue on the layout as well. And as I said, I really liked how this came out. And I said, this layout took me about, I don't know, about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but yeah, it was super quick, super simple. Um, and it's going to mean the focus is the story. I may have this as my introduction page. Um, not quite sure. As I said, I've, I've left my journaling till after I've done all the pages so I didn't have that repeat because I often find I just waffle on about the same thing. <laughs> um, so I've just put that little adventure sticker there and that's worked perfectly because I didn't really want a title on here. Um, I possibly could put a title if I have some space after I've done the journaling but for now I'm not going to worry about a title as I said um, I could add that at a later date if I wanted. I was thinking, should I put this little narwhal on there? But he just looked a little bit swamped by um, that big um, orange whale. So I was like, okay, no, he can stay in my sticker stash. He's going to be one of those that's just going to be too cute to use. I know. Um, so I'm just going to end up um, looking for my other bits of wood veneer in here, seeing if 
any of those are going to work. Just kind of thinking, can I use any more of this up? Because at this point I knew, okay, I'm not going to make any more, probably not going to make any more 12 by 12 layouts. Um, I'm just going to do pocket pages. So I kind of knew that I needed to use things up. So just going through, I've got some half sticks and bits and pieces I've used on other layouts that haven't really worked. Um, I was looking, do I want to put a title on? Hmm, no, I don't. Can I use anything else up? And this is literally the point I get when I'm coming to the end of the collection. Um, I wouldn't say I was bored of the collection. I was just a little bit like, I'm kind of running out of what I want to do before I dig into my stash. So yeah, I'm super happy with how um, that looks. And I'm not sure what else I'm actually going to do. I don't think there is much else. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to add a little bit more mist into that middle cluster because I haven't um, added anything. And I don't mind that it's going over the journaling block um, because my writing will just go over that. I normally just write in a normal biro, so that's not going to be any issue whatsoever. Um, I'm then going to mount the layout um, up on a sort of cream. It's like a grey wood grainy cream. Um, I do end up ripping it, putting my tape down which is a bit of a bugger. Um, my tape was actually running out so it kind of kept sticking so I'm just gonna repair that with a little bit of glue and once the layout's on it you can't even see. So yeah that is it for this layout, that is it for this series. I've really enjoyed working with the theme um, but I'm also glad to be moving on to some more um, layouts really and I want to get to scrapping some more of this um, wonderful trip. So thank you very much guys for watching, um, I hope you've enjoyed the series and I'll see you all again very very soon. Bye!